The next thing you want to do once you download your balance sheet statement and your profit and loss statement is you want to first of all start with the profit and loss statement and put it side by side with the Excel workbook. So you can see here on my left hand side, I have the profit and loss statement I pulled up from my financial software. On my right hand side, I have the Excel file. So exercise one is asking me for owner's pay. So my profit and loss statement, I want to look for where it says owner's pay. And voila, there's the line, owner's pay. In 2017, I have 46,100. And in 2016, I have 30,002. So I put that here for 2017 and 2016. The next thing I want to do is figure out my market rate of pay. First of all, I have to figure out all the functions I perform in my business. So looking at my time, I'll hopefully we keep time logs. If you're not, even as the owner, I do recommend you do because without the time logs, you can't efficiently know what you're spending your time. You spend 20 hours supervising, 10 hours doing work in the business, like serving customers, and then 10 hours marketing. So you spend 40 hours a week in the business. After doing some research, you looked at some job posting for similar positions. You find out supervising your area is paying $15 an hour. Labor is paying $10 an hour and marketing is paying $25. So you do that. You, you just put those numbers in there. And then the weekly pay will be computed for you automatically and the annual pay will be computed for you annually, um, automatically. So you take that number and you put it down in, you put it down in the data entry, the 32,500. And also you might want to come down here and say where you found the sources of market pay. So where you found the average hourly pay. That way, if the IRS should ever dispute you and say the pay is not right, you can say, hey, this is how I got the numbers and um, and this is how I computed my hourly pay. And this was service documentation. If the IRS ever comes up back by you and say, hey, how did you come up with this number? You can show them you have a system rather than just having a random, put in a no random number for your pay.